So far we have discussed that addition is associative for rational numbers. Subtraction is not associative for rational numbers. The video links to both the lectures you will find in the description box below. Please watch them. And in this video, let's talk whether multiplication is associative for rational numbers or not. What does that mean? It means that if we have three rational numbers, A, B and C, then A times B, that is first you multiply A times B, whatever result we get from this, we multiply that result with C. Okay, so A times B times C should be equal to A times B times C. That is, first you multiply B and C together and then the result is multiplied with A. If this condition gets satisfied, always, then we say, then we will say that yes, multiplication is associative for rational numbers. Can you see that here first pairing is of A and B, that is first we'll multiply A and B then with C, the result. But here we'll first multiply B and C and whatever result we get, we'll multiply that with A because bracket tells the priority. Okay. Now, here we have A is equal to 3 over 4, B is equal to minus 5 over 6, C is equal to minus 8 over 4. First, let's do for A times B and then times C. So from this one, we have 3 over 4 times minus 5 over 6 times within the bracket this one and times minus 8 over 4, right? Now, we know that whenever we, are, we multiply two rational numbers, we simply multiply the numerators together and then the denominators together. So this becomes 3 times minus 5 and 4 times 6, right? Let's use the square bracket times minus 8 over 4. Let's put this on that. Now from this we get minus 15 over 24 and then times minus 8 over 4. So again we'll multiply the numerators together that is minus 15 times minus 8 then 24 times 4 and we get from this one we are multiplying two negative integers it means the result will be the product will be positive so we don't need to mention the positive sign 15 times 8 is 8540 and 4 that is 120 divided by here we get 96 so 120 over 96 is the result when we perform a times b times c now let's perform a times b times c if this is the case so 3 over 4 times minus 5 over 6 times minus 8 over 4 from here we get 3 over 4 times we multiply the numerators together so minus 5 times minus 8 divided by 6 times 4 we get 3 over 4 times Minus 5 times minus 8 means what? 40 or 24. Now again, we have to multiply the numerators together. So 3 times 40 is 120 and 40 times 24 is 96. So again, what we have got as a result is 120 over 96 and previously we, have, we had 120 over 96. 
it means that both these two are actually equal, right? So in this case, yes, this condition gets satisfied. In this example, first let's solve for a times b times c. So a is 10 over 4 times 3 over 2 and times minus 1 over 5. This becomes 10 times 3 is 30, 4 times 2 is 8 times minus 1 over minus 1 over 5. So 30 times minus 1 is minus 30, 8 times 5 is 40. Now let's solve for a times b times c. 10 over 4 times c is this one. 3 over 2 times minus 1 over 5. Right? So this becomes 10 over 4 times 3 times minus 1 because we have to multiply two fractions. So we simply multiply the numerators together. We get minus 3 or 2 times 5 is 10. So we again can get 10 times minus 3 is 30. 4 times 10 is 40. So minus 30 over 40 we got here from a times b times c and minus 30 over 40 is what we get from a times b times c. Again, this condition gets satisfied in this case, in this example also. So that's why we can say that just as addition, multiplication is also associative for rational numbers. So addition is associative, subtraction is not, multiplication is associative. So what about division? For that, I'll see you in the next video we'll discuss there.